All right, second Scratch Shiranui's here, so let's begin. But before we start with the main cards, here are some promos, which I am not gonna go over, but this is the Shadow Paladin and Mega Colony promo that is basically your Great Lock Searcher for V and Premium. And then to the actual cards, we start with Stealth Dragon Tenry, which I don't remember this one either. But anyway, it's a great one way keep powering the skill is auto when placed on rearguard. If you have a Shiranui Orboro Crest, cost count plus one and draw a card. This is just another way for you get pluses because from what I could see from the deck it doesn't exactly give you too many pluses at least in the early game anyway but the second skill auto regard when your dominant unit attack hits you may return this back to the hand basically it pressures your opponent from you using that first skill again overall this one is not too bad because this one gives you draws and then we got stealth dragon furai which is a great two-way to keep power on the skillless count rearguard each time a dominant unit attacks this card gets us 5k power and it stacks and that is of course going to be pretty powerful and like how furai runs originally it gets power each time units attack in this case gains more power but nerfed to only dominated units which is still fair i would say but when you play this in premium that might be a little crazy especially if you're playing mujin lord but anyway second skill auto rearguard generation break one when your vanguard attacks if you had a dominate unit attack this turn cost soul last one stand this unit wow two restand units in the dominate deck i say this deck is already looking a lot stronger than luard even though i prefer luard for looking cooler this one is definitely strong but damn they have to add another restand unit. Now, calling from drop zone unit might be much more preferred in a way. Finally, to the second stride, the Evolve Shiranui Evil I Hades Emperor Shiranui Mukuro. This is the Persona stride cost, like every second stride in D, but the skill is Dominate, Act Manger once per turn, Generation Ring 2, cost Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's rearguards and dominate it and attack your opponent's vanguard. And at the end of the battle, stand and dominate the vanguard and attacks all your opponent's rearguards. And yes, you still perform drive checks in this attack. So basically, just like original Shiranui Mukuro, you dominate the Vanguard to attack all your opponent's units. But the additional part of this one is that you can also additionally dominate your opponent's rearguard. On top of that, it's less costly because the original one requires you to discard a card from your hand. This one does not require you to discard at all. Now the only restriction is of course the stride cost difference, but damn this one is a huge improvement to the original and basically just adds more dominated unit attacks, which is going to be insane, especially in D because you're already got multi-dominate and just being able to get one additional attack on your opponent's vanguard and then get your opponent's vanguard attack to destroy all your opponent's rear guards along with drive checks that is busting right there and considering that we don't have other strides that over dominate your opponent's rear guards this isn't as much as a problem as the original because the original lineup we had mujin lord which wants to keep all your opponent's rear guards and mukro that just basically dominates the vanguard and kills everything but since that doesn't exist in d at least this doesn't matter as much but overall pretty strong so that's it for the new shiranui mukuro what do you guys think of it are you excited for both stride deck sets i personally am blue art is just cool especially in concept and i'm glad the dominate returned with shiranui i'm more so fan of blue art than shiranui but i love both of them that i'm gonna get both decks in premium and personally i've been kind of liking these stride deck sets just brings back g fans basically and luckily they don't get over supported to be op as hell to go up against those anime decks but other than that that's it for this and see y'all next time